Welcome back guys, so today I've got an exciting one for you. For those of you who've been following me, you've seen me teasing this project, but what do we got going on? So obviously it's the year of SNK. We've got the 40th anniversary collection coming out for the Nintendo Switch, the Neo Geo Mini coming out, who knows when. But to me, I was like, dude, I can't wait. Let's make our own damn Neo Geo, right? So I partnered up with Game Room Solutions, hit them up, said, hey, is it possible you guys could make a custom Neo Geo kit? Two-player kit? A little back and forth action, talking about it, getting things going, kind of looking at different versions and looking at an earlier build. We finally got the finished product in our hands today. Bam! Two-player Neo Geo. Full-on system. This bad boy right now is powered by a Raspberry Pi 3, or you can use the B Plus or the standard 3, doesn't matter. I do have a custom Neo Geo build just for that that we're gonna be taking a look at today. So this thing is pretty sweet. It really does give me the feels of a Neo Geo. The same layout, high quality components. This sucker's pretty heavy too. I think it works best if you have it on a table. You can play it on your lap, which I have done and it works, but it is a pretty hefty unit. Uh, a lot of people have used the previous version of these to make their own little setups, uh, you know, like with a pedestal, having a screen up on the wall, that kind of thing. There's so many different possibilities with this that I think it's awesome. So we've looked at other products from Game Room Solutions in the past, and this one is currently my favorite. <laughs> A little biased, yes, because I was the one who asked if they could make this product. But there's pretty much, there's no difference in price versus the first version of the two-player kit. It's still about $100, a little over 100 bucks to get the kit with, you know, the box, the plexiglass, and the print. Um, you can choose what buttons and all that for a separate price. Uh, they do have different kits or setups and brands that you can choose from. If you want it set up exactly the same that I have, you can definitely do that. I have Sanwa's with the hap style color coded buttons to the, you know, just like the Neo Geo with the bat top for the Sanwa's. Pretty sweet stuff. We are using a Zinmo encoder. Um, I do have everything wired up in here. Not completely fixed up and cleaned up, but wired up to where both sides work and everything is good and we can test that out today. But I do plan on using this for dual purpose. So I do have an original Neo Geo. Very damn expensive to collect for, which is why I really wanted a setup like this. Um, because, you know, we could play Neo Geo on so many things, the Raspberry Pi, Retro Pi, on our PCs, using Xbox controllers, downloading the games on the Switch. But none of those controls feel the same to me, so that's why I really wanted something like this. This feels just like a Neo Geo cabinet to me. Um, it's high quality, flipping great. I could really get down playing some Samurai Showdown, Metal Slug, all that good stuff. But ultimately what I want to do with this is dual purpose it. Have it to where it is a USB controller where I can use it on my Retro Pi, Raspberry Pi, my PC, whatever I want. But also have it wired up to where I can use it as an original controller for the Neo Geo AES. So what my plan is, is going to be wiring this up to have it do both. Um, and I'm going to be doing tutorials on all that. So today we're just going to take a quick look at this device, at the custom Neo Geo theme. Um, and then another video, we're going to be doing the complete build so you can see how easy it is to put this thing together. It really takes about half hour to put it together, if that. Um, and then we'll also be doing a full-on tutorial into converting this to a real AES controller. So today... Why not just go ahead and take a look at the custom image that is made for Neo Geo for this particular box? Kind of talk about it and peep it out. So let's go ahead and do that, guys. Okay guys, so here we go. We're in the custom setup. Um, this is a special Neo Geo theme made by Dwayne Hurst. Really awesome dude, legendary RetroPie theme maker. He has done a lot for the retro community. There will be a link in the description if you want to peep out his channel. He does a lot of cool stuff. Definitely worth your time. Um, but right now, let's go ahead and take a peek at this little Neo Geo inspired RetroPie image. So to me, 
I didn't want to have a bunch of stuff on here, to be honest. At first, I just wanted it to be Neo Geo only, but then I kind of diversified a little bit and figured, you know what, let's put some arcade classics on here as well. So to me, you know, not always more is better. Sometimes having a focus build is pretty cool, and definitely specifically for this arcade stick build, this is awesome in my opinion. So we have 2,470 games. Uh, Arcade Classics takes up the bulk of that. It's going to be 1,347. Obviously, there's not a ton of Neo Geo games, so we could have just dropped this with, you know, the 142 Neo Geo games, and that would have been cool, but I figured, why not mess around with a little bit of other arcade games as well? So that's why we did it. Daphne, we got 11 games. They all play fantastically well on this stick. Very simple, easy to play games anyway. The games aren't necessarily easy, but they're easy to play, if you catch my drift. MAME, uh, Lib Retro, we do have 921 games. Neo Geo, 142. It's really where it's at for me. And why not? Figured, let's throw Neo Geo Pocket and Pocket Color on here as well. So you got 9 games there, and then 40 for the Pocket Color. Pocket Color is pretty awesome. Um, in our setup options, we do have all the scripts from the Motion Blue version 6 Plus image. Uh, so you have everything that you're accustomed to there. The stuff that's exclusive to, you know, the newest RetroPie builds with uh, B Plus, uh, you know, with the jukebox and stuff like that. And we do have the Bezel Project script on here as well. Background music you can turn on and off. Uh, you can mess around with a bunch of different utilities. Very cool stuff indeed, your little jukebox uh, splash screens. Uh, we do have a track mode on here as well, it is motion blue. Uh, what I was going to do and I am currently working on, just like I did for the PlayStation only build, uh, how I did a PSX theme for that, I'm doing the same thing for this Neo Geo, but I just haven't had the time to get it complete. I'm still working on it so I don't have anything to show of that yet. But in the very near future, I definitely will be sharing that with you guys. So moving forward, we do have some collections on here. All SNK Neo Geo collections. So Art of Fighting, Fatal Fury, The King of Fighters, Metal Slug, Samurai Showdown, and World Heroes. Obviously not a bunch of games in each one of these, but still kind of cool to have a quick way to go find them without having to search. Yeah, Neo Geo, 142 games, not that difficult to search through, but still, I thought it was kind of cool to have this on here to just, if you boot it up, you're like, ah, oh, Metal Slug, let's go to Metal Slug and, and play a Metal Slug game. So pretty awesome stuff. Let's go down to Neo Geo, boot up a game, and see how she looks. We do have the Bezel Project uh, script running. We had that already set up for everything. Uh, to be quite honest, and I think that's pretty cool, having a little Neo Geo loading screen there. You can always change that, but I have that set up, a little customized thing for this. But with the, the bezel project, what I was going to say is a lot of the bezels are pretty cool, but some of them just, uh, I mean, I didn't really care for some of them. And then there are quite a few as well, specifically for Neo Geo, that the bezel, there was no bezel for it, so it would just show some generic arcade classic bezel that looked like a little kid style, and I just don't think that's very appealing. It looked really ugly, so I changed it. Um, but you can always, if you find bezels through the bezel project that you don't like, and I guarantee you're going to find some, because there's been plenty of them I don't like, but there's the vast majority of them I do, but there's still a bunch that I don't really care for. You can always easily change them. I do have a bunch of additional bezels on here. So you can always go into RetroArch, for example, here. Go down the settings. You probably hear the clickiness. It's because I am actually using this arcade stick during the filming of this and talking. Um, but you can go to on-screen display, go to overlay, and for example, it has an overlay preset, and this is from the bezel project script, but we can always change that. So for example, I do have some um, Neo Geo bezels on here and we do have a bunch of other specific ones for games so if you didn't like the samurai showdown 4 one you can go to arcade bezels and just look for samurai showdown 4 and there may be a different one on here so let's take a look at that 
Come on. There we go. So we have a new one set. Let's see if it's a different version. And nope, it's the same exact one. But it's worth checking because some of them are different, but maybe not all of them are. So what we could do is if we don't like that one, we can just jump down and put like a generic SNK Neo Geo bezel. And bam, you got the little MVS looking style there. Looks pretty cool. And, you know, you play Neo Geo games, you get that little layout in the intro showing you, hey, this is what A, B, C, and D does. You don't have to get accustomed to changing up the style of the buttons with this stick because they're set up just like a real Neo Geo controller. And these games look beautiful through RetroPie. Uh, very amazing. I mean, you can't get these games to look any better, even on original hardware. Um, and really playing with this, I don't experience any kind of crazy input lag or anything. I'm sure there is some there. Definitely, you know, with the TV you're using and stuff like that. But for me, playing this on original hardware, specifically this game, um, I've been playing a lot of Samurai Showdown 4. My inputs and everything feel identical, so I'm not experiencing any kind of weirdness. So that's definitely a plus for me. Bam. Oh, man. Definitely an awesome game. If you've never played Samurai Showdown 4, it is definitely worth checking out. It's one of the highlights of the series. A lot of people say 3 is the worst one, um, and I do feel that may be true, but 4 took a lot of what was done right and got rid of what was done wrong and just did an amazing job. So definitely a cool game to check out. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to kind of briefly highlight everything with this real quick for you guys. Um, like I said, we're going to be doing another video showing the complete, you know, install of this panel, this arcade kit, showing you how to put it together very easily, doing all the wiring and that kind of stuff, just so you can see. It's not necessarily a daunting task, pretty simple stuff. And then we will also be following that up with a tutorial on how to convert it to an actual Neo Geo controller that can be used on an original AES or consoleized MVS, C-Box, those kind of things that use the standard SNK inputs. And I think that's going to be flipping awesome having this dual purpose. So I really do appreciate you guys stopping in. All the links will be in the description if you want to peep this control panel out or even you know send a message to Game Room Solutions to ask questions. Uh, all the contact information is on his website, or if you just want to order something, link will be there. No pressure. I think it's awesome. If you're in the Neo Geo, this is going to be something that you're probably going to be like, man, this is this is pretty cool. Maybe not for everybody, but there's definitely going to be a, an appeal for those who want that Neo Geo style and not have to spend a ton of money. Um, so thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Smash that like button. Subscribe. Do all that cool stuff. It means the world to me. And I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Boom.